Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm well, last week we built a road. That we did? Yep, yeah, it's a pretty awesome road as well. And the next step that we have to do is just to integrate animals onto our homestead, right? Yeah. Because what's a homestead without any animals? Well, they have the, the boys, but they don't produce that much food, sadly. No, they don't. Now, this week our mission is going to be turning the pile of wood that you see there, scrap wood left over from our house, into an awesome chicken coop. Now, for us, having chicken on the homestead, it's going to serve two purposes, right? The first one, it'll be to lower our food bill. Because nowadays, a dozen of eggs in Portugal goes between two and a half euros to three euros. And a hen is five euros. Yeah. So you get the math behind that. The other way our chickens are going to become a vital part of our homestead is just to handle our food waste, all the kitchen scraps and all of this, because we intend to give that to our chicken just to keep them happy and healthy. Yeah. So this week, we're building a chicken coop. Let's do it. Let's do it with the scrap we have. Let's do it. Oh, okay then. So yesterday we made a small start on the chicken coop. Yeah, just checking out what type of material we have and just roughly framing it in with the sizes that we have. And that's the size that we have. Yeah. So we did shoot that part, but frankly, I don't think much of it will make it onto <laughs> this video. You guys have to know that Dan's parents are visit visiting us for the next month. And your dad is quite a lumberman, yeah, right? Yeah, he was chopping uh, firewood all day last day. All day. Which meant that the minute that we wanted to talk with you guys, we had the chainsaw in the background and it made for... A challenging way of shooting. <laughs> Nonetheless, we did do some progress on the chicken coop. Yeah. But now it's time to finish it. Yeah. Well, try to finish it at least. It's. Uh, you have to. Well, it's gonna be a uh, very fast and dirty build. We're not gonna be measuring so much and leveling it out. And uh, we're just gonna purpose build it for its space. And as long as it looks straight and it looks nice, we're happy. Yeah. Now, I know that many YouTubers have opted to sell their chicken coop plans to you guys. Well, this one, you won't need to buy it. There's no plan. There's no plan. <laughs> it's built with scrap. Like most people in the region, that's what they do. They build their chicken coop with scrap. And you need to be creative with your material. And that's what you'll see next. Um, and it sure helps to have a needle gun to do all this stuff. Because a chicken coop has doesn't have to be structural in any way, shape or form. And if it falls up some pieces in two years, you just need a new piece on that chicken coop. And uh, in, within the years, it's gonna grow into something uh, chicken coop to be. <laughs> <the rest>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We just build and then see what happens and see how far we're gonna take it. Yeah, I mean, we have pretty much just a few requirements for the chicken coop. Uh, it needs to be easily clean. Yeah. The eggs need to be easily accessed. The hens need to have a roosting pole. Mm -hmm. What else? And they need to be clear from draft, but yeah. well ventilated. Exactly. That's our plan. That's our plan. Now, let's see how that's going to turn out. De la vie. Get Jack. Do it. I think it's going to be great, though. Yeah? You know? Yes, that's the... Wrap it in a bit and then... You had some tips, right, yesterday about not shooting yourself in the finger. Yeah. You want to tell our viewers? The length of your nails, these ones are 55 millimeters. And my tip is never hold your fingers, your non-trigger fingers, closer than at least the length of the, the nails. Because these ones are super thin and they can just do a 360 let's see like here for instance let's see how it goes <laughs> anyhow it goes in a nut and it can just come out here it can come out there or it can come up straight up it's very unpredictable with these nail gun or needle guns so be careful you've done this before yeah once 
shot myself in the finger, you only do it once. <laughs> Again, this is slamming your chicken coop together. <laughs> Guys, some of you might remember this fabric right here. This is the windbreak membrane that we've used to wrap the entire house. Now, if you remember when we did the cleanup after the job, all the little offcuts like this, we saved them all up. And guess what? Right now, they're just perfect to wrap the framing, which goes to show it ain't trash until you trash it. And I'm really glad I didn't trash this.
then, day two of the chicken coop. Uh -huh. What's our plan for today? I uh, continue to try to find sticks that we can uh, sit on it. And we just, or yesterday, we discovered that we had some uh, tongue and groove left from the staircase build. That's a bit uh, twisted and not really good for the kitchen build. So. Yeah, because we're going to be building our own kitchen with tongue and groove, whatever yeah. things we have left. Yeah. But that's going to be done at a later stage. Um, but yeah, it's good to know that we have the material to build the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's good to know that we have some materials to finish the chicken coop. Yeah. But we also need to take apart some pallets today, right? Definitely. Yeah. If you're going to be building with pallets, I think our top tip is don't try to build them with them as... As is. <laughs> No, you're going to be causing yourself a world of trouble. So take the time to take them apart and then uh, build with it. Mm -hmm. Create something new. Yeah. So, day two of the chicken coop. Yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> it's early morning. <laughs> so it might be a slow start. <laughs> So what do we got here, Dan? Uh, just need something to um, have the ceiling going or uh, the back wall leaning against. And we need something for the sides. Gotcha. And then yesterday we cladded the inside with zinc. Yeah, the sides there. And we're probably going to put zinc here as well. And maybe here as well, depending on how much we have left. Yep. But I need to put these ones in place first. So I know how, where we're gonna put the 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 the, the, the hole for the chickens to go in and out. Ah, gotcha. Okay, then we'll let you think. Mm. And we need the uh, sides to hold up, like the the sawdust or whatever we're gonna put in the, in the box. Yeah, there. probably uh, yeah. hey, huh? Yeah, something, something. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good.
the way to keep this up. That so we don't get crooked eggs. We don't get crooked eggs. <laughs> here yeah and then some board the other way yeah and then we have ourselves a roof <laughs> hinges you must have some old hinges from the from the flip yes we had whole hinge, old hinges from the flip uh -huh. good thing that you get so much of that stuff right a lot of stuff from the old house. I can't remember, was it for the shutters, these ones? No, these ones are for the description from the bathroom vanity that you turn into. Yes, that bathroom vanity that turned into a kitchen island that turned out into an outdoor storage. Mm. Well, the flies are driving us nuts. Yeah, again. And again. It's crazy, just Come and nibble at you. And then when the wind is fucking eyes. Yeah. It is windy today. It comes in gusts. Good thing by a windy day like this, there's no flies outside, so that's a good thing. But let us show you one thing, it's starting to worry us quite much actually. So when it's windy outside, we don't really dare to come and use the, the backyard, our sweet chestnut tree. We really need to think about maintaining it because there's a, a few widow makers and So we need to, yeah, get a special thing come and look at this. It's not safe. Nonetheless, another beautiful day in Portugal. <laughs> Good 
Griffith is inside underneath the duvet. Griffin. You're taking it easy. You wanna go and bug him? These boys. Okay, so what we decided now is that we're going to be cutting the roof. Yeah, in the, not half really, but the portion that's are on top of the nesting box. So we just have to lift that portion to get the eggs out of the living quarters of the sheep. Like a Dutch barn door yeah. type of thing, but instead of a, call it a Dutch roof maybe. <laughs> And then we cut it, and then we have to, of course, have to put another cladding piece on the that lip that's nailed to the smaller piece of the of the ceiling. Yeah, that makes sense. And we also have this plastic um, rubber rubber uh, that we're going to be kind of stapling here, just so that it, whenever the rain comes in, at least nothing will fall in the crack there, or as little as possible, so that we can keep our chickens. Dry. Yeah, and here on the side we also need to clad up this part. We talked about it a bit yesterday. Just this gap there, but a bit uh, narrower piece though. Yeah. On both sides, so we have uh, it doesn't blow straight in on in the ceiling height. Yeah, so that we have ventilation but no draft. So we really hope that we can finish the, finish the chicken coop today. Yeah. That's what we plan. So yeah. we have this to do, that to do, and then we have the back as well to take care of, right? Yeah, because yeah. we, we didn't really plan this morning because it was so bleak. It was windy like... Like crazy, like you saw. It was really... Yeah. And then suddenly it just the weather turned. So yeah. like, okay, let's, let's go and build, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So building, we shall do. I shall cut this now. And I shall cut this now.
think it's a nail gun. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically this part is just for the water not to drizzle in the coop itself. Did it all done? Awesome! Well done, babe! Chicken coop. Definitely done. Something to the rest of the... A stick or something. Yeah. Something to the rest. That works. It doesn't have to be screwed on or anything, right? No. If I put a screw here on the side and hang the stick there. Be perfect. Like that. Yes. All we need is chickens. Mason, are you gonna kill them this time? Are you gonna kill the chickens? You like to kill them, little Dexter, do you? But these ones are gonna be your sister. You can't kill your sister, pee pee pee. Hey, no. Cleaning. Easily cleaned. Easily put in place. Roosting bar. Not roosting bar, but nesting area that we will be complementing with some hay. A little door there. Ugh. And then the roosting pole. So it's a fairly small chicken coop, but we have asked our friends and neighbor, and they're confident that we can fit many, many chickens. But for now, we only need four, so that shall do. Well done. Would you say that with the chicken coop done, it's pretty much fair to say that we can end the video for this week. We just have to pipe the rocks in the front there. That's about the last thing to do. Yeah. And in case you wonder, our chicken run, we bought it online. It is a Vida XL chicken run. I believe one times three meters. You can check out the video that, um, that we did oh, a while back when I put this thing up together. I can't say that we're all that impressed with the build, but there's always something to do with it. And for now, it's gonna keep our chicken safe from the foxes. Yeah. So that's that. Ask, yeah? yeah. Make sure to tune in next Sunday if you're interested in knowing what we will do to keep our ducks super comfortable. Or next Wednesday if you're interested in checking out the chicken flocks that we will get for this build. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next week. Ciao, ciao. You want to say ciao, ciao? Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>